Hey what's up everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool 3D physics simulation with splice So it's gonna be super easy with just a few clicks and you can do something cool like this So let's get right into it Alright so here we are at a new splice project So the first thing I wanted to do is to uh, change the background color So I'm going to click here to uh, change it to like a grey color like this uh, as a background so uh, and then the next step let's click on this plus button and create a torus uh, so basically it's a donut shape object and then let's scale it a little bit bigger no not a little bit like much bigger like this and then select and click on this smooth and edit buttons so what it does is to uh, let us edit the polygon so I'm going to select the upper part of this donut and just simply remove it and then let's select the right part uh, here and also remove this part so we can have now we can have like this uh, a quarter of the donut uh, like this and now the next thing I want to do is to scroll down here and click on this bold button for the sizes so we now we can see that the inner, inner part of the, the tube is visible alright so now I'm going to duplicate this shape and then just rotate it uh, to the other size uh, we can also like adjust the the number here to be more accurate like and move it a little bit to the right so we can have like a uh, geometry like this all right so now let's uh, create a sphere and place it here so we want the sphere to just fall down and goes inside the tube uh, but if you hit play to preview uh, you will not see anything happening because uh, you need to go back and click anywhere on the screens and from this project setting you need to enable this physics so now all of the object in the scene will react like physical object in the real world uh, so uh, if you select any of these you will see there's a physics setting down here so you can enable or disable it and down here we have the, the setting for children so basically this is for the group objects so you want it to act like a single object or like a separate object and down here we can define the body type of the object so for the tube i want it to stay in this position uh, but for the sphere, I want it to fall down when I hit place and just uh, go into the tube. So I'm going to set the tube as position and the same for the other one on the left, also position. And for the spheres, I'm going to switch it to dynamic. And now you can see there's a bunch of different physical properties that you can play around with to define what kind of object uh, of the sphere is. Uh, but first let me just uh, preview it by clicking on this play buttons uh, so I think it's working pretty well so this goes right into the tube but I know that there's a little bit lagging going on here it's, it's moving a little bit slowly when it hit the tube so the reason why is that um, if you uh, go to the properties of the fears and turn on the wireframe uh, here and you see that the by default the geometry is, is a little bit too smooth so we wanted to reduce this uh, by click on this button and then just uh, maybe reduce it to zero so now we can have like a much uh, less polygon uh, geometry and then now we can preview and see that it's moving much faster and much smoother and now you can apply the same technique to the tubes geometry uh, so we click here and uh, reduce the uh, subdivision levels to zeros uh, and then you hit place so much smoother now Alright, so we got the physics is pretty much set. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is to make it look pretty by just playing around with this material. So first I'm going to switch the color channel of the tube to glass. And then reduce the intensity of the lighting to 30. Uh, and I'm going to create another layer. And for this one I'm going to select uh, Fresno. Uh, so we can have like a nice uh, transparent material like this. So let's hit preview so you can see that it's really nice here with the blur effect uh, so i'm going to copy this uh, material and apply it to the other tube so now we have the tube the two tubes uh, in the glass material but i wanted this this one to be um, clearer so let's click on this glass material setting and then reduce the blurness by zero so now you can have like two different type of glass materials uh, which is really nice and now let's give some love to the sphere so um, maybe let's give it some colors uh, first let's reduce the lighting by 30 
and also add another Fresno layers uh, maybe reduce this to 40s um, so we can have like a matte uh, feeling like this um, all right so uh, let's change the color to something more interesting uh, so I'm going to select this white uh, gray white colors and let's bring it down inside the tubes uh, because for this white uh, sphere uh, we're going to uh, multiply it to buy a different sphere and put it inside the tube and now I'm going to uh, duplicate uh, one of the sphere here and move it uh, to this position and for this one I'm going to uh, rename it to uh, maybe color sphere and then let's go to the color channels and give it uh, maybe a red pink color like this and move it up a little bit and now just hit previews so you see that it falls down but it's not like strong enough or the impact is not strong enough to push the other white sphere outside of the tubes so to fix this let's go back here and then select all of the white sphere and let's go down to the physics uh, settings and reduce the weight by zero and reduce the friction by zero also uh, make it more bouncy so now let's preview it so boom you see that this red sphere just kicked them right out of the tubes uh, but a little bit uh, too much so I'm going to maybe uh, bring the weight up a little bit and then let's preview it uh, so now you can see that the physics look much more realistic now uh, but I'm going to reduce it by maybe 0.1 uh, so we can have this you know kicking the balls out of the tubes uh, so I think this weight is uh, is working all we have to do now is to multiply it into four more sphere and give it different colors alright so we have everything set up here so let's just preview it really cool so I think it's working like magic here uh, see the way that this just kick this white sphere out of the tube is so satisfying to look at so the fun things about this physics is that it's 100% dynamic which means that uh, all you have to do is just play around with different settings, different numbers to come out with uh, something really cool, really interesting. Alright, so this is the end of my tutorial today so I hope you find this one helpful and I'll see you in the next one.